Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phantom Doctrine. We're doing quite well. Uh, we've found a little bit of information on Turncoat and maybe everything isn't quite as it seems with the whole conspiracy uh, that's been going on. As a quick recap of where we are, we've got uh, an upgrade going for our general uh, base and that we're swapping out the interrogation chemicals. That's going to make interrogations cheaper. Anything that saves money in the long run is definitely going to be a good idea. Uh, we've got some riot slugs uh, being made at the moment. That in itself is going to be a little bit interesting because that's going to give us um, stunning effect for shotguns. And stunning we've seen mentioned in one of the skills um, for being able to go around and uh, mop up several different people. Basically it sounded like it was free fire points for taking out stunned um, uh, stunned enemy combatants. So very, very uh, worthwhile uh, as far as experimenting and, and trying these things out goes. Um, we've got uh, general training on the go. Um, Roxy is currently whereabouts? Traveling, traveling. There we are. Roxy's uh, down in training for rapid dominance tactics. That's going to give sure shot and easy kill. That's what we were just talking about with regards to the stunning. And also, if I go to our MK Ultra facility, um, we have Teak being interrogated right now. We've got Spirit ready to be interrogated afterwards, so our danger is ticking up. But overall, I think we're, we're doing all right. Uh, before we get too far into it, I do want to have a quick go through and sell a spare sparrow just to get us a little bit more money and I want to get someone else going on let's just get rid of that in fact uh, we've got AP bullets we'll sort them out in a second but I want to get someone else training uh, Lamister's in for treatment at the moment so we can't do you Stuntman you're hospitalized in fact yeah if we go to the infirmary um, Frigate is doing quite well considering Frigate got taken down to zero health twice I'm um, very, very nearly back in the field. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on right at the moment. Uh, let's go to the knowledge board. We don't, I believe, have any extra documents that we picked up at the end of the last time. So there's no new connections we can make. I'm just having a very quick glance at these, but it looks like everything's been taken care of so we're just going to be waiting for more information and waiting for things to finish off uh we do have a beholder cell over here um we have tactical recon in progress people are flying in to do that and over here we have tactical recon going on an enemy recon mission so it's going to be probably quite a busy couple of uh, of episodes lamsters ampere is finished brilliant this is going to be ready to go. Okay, so we're, we're just jumping straight back in. Uh, another assault mission. Uh, we can have two disguises, so we could just do this as like a double disguise job. Let's get you gone. Uh, we'll do deadpan in disguise. And who else are we going to do in disguise? We could do acrobat. Acrobat's investigating at the moment, but I'm all for getting acrobat more experience. I could do Lamster. Lamster who's just got an upgrade. Really wish she was properly skilled in the M10. But you're not. Let's let's get you some more experience. You can have AP bullets. We'll give Lamster AP bullets as well for the moment. Dead fans already got. In fact, no, no. Uh, Lamster, we'll take these out. Right, deadpan. Uh, so the bone crushers, which do slowed, we're going to go for AP bullets. That's going to turn that M10 into an amazing, ultra dangerous thing. Uh, we'll put bone crushers over here. Why not? It doesn't actually slow things down at all. And I think. We're ready to go with this. That M10 is going to be loud, but we've got the Estrella as a, a secondary. Right, so Akrat, you're in. Use a disguise. Double disguise. And 
Over here. Yeah, we've only got smoke and spotters. We don't have any uh, snipers ready for assigning, which is a bit of a shame. So this is going to be Operation White Orbit. An enemy operative is conducting reconnaissance in this area, trying to locate our headquarters, allowing them to continue. We'd put our operations in jeopardy, make sure the agent never reports back. If possible, capture the trespasser for interrogation. Capturing is good. Um, it will increase our danger level. So there's, there's benefits and disadvantages, of course. If we can capture, we will, of course, do that. Right, so where are we potentially going? Jeez, you are super secure in here. Two laser grids and intel. Um, both our people are in disguise, so it makes a little difference which of these places we pick. But in terms of spotting, probably the south side for spotting, and in terms of smoke, it's going to be the east side. Now with both of our people in disguise, we can take the time to go around and explore. We just need to watch out for beholder agents in the area. Definitely. Enemy operative. Eliminate or capture. Keep it quiet if possible. Definitely don't want to run for In fact, they're, they're right here. I mean, we could just open the door blast them and then get out that would also be an acceptable way but i think we can we can be smarter about this so starting with things that we're going to steal good to know that there's people around now we could of course start eliminating these guys they're going to like do their own thing anyway Eliminating them will potentially get the agent to start moving, but I'm going to wait until we've got as much intel and other loot as we can before doing something like that. So you're going to come all the way through to here. There's actually cameras we can deactivate in there. Who can you see? You can see that one down there. So he's going to wander around. He's going to potentially go into that room. Straight through the laser grid doesn't set anything off. Uh, yeah, step right up next to this. There's no one in here. Grab the heavy armor. We could actually go through and sell some of that heavy armor. I'm sure it'll be time to die yet? worth a bit. Uh, yeah, do the switch first. There goes the laser grids. Okay, well, we can get straight in. Uh, probably with Acrobat. And uh, knock that chap out. If we get the Beholder Agent knocked out and stabilised early on, then... It will make things a bit easier for us. So, background here you go. And, uh... You can loot this. Yeah, 45. Small extra money. And... Uh... Yeah, we're going to want to bring you back around this way. Probably check what our evac strategy is actually. He's going into the corner potentially. Right, you. All the way through here. Of course, there's, there's two in here. Right, 98, and you've only got 96, so it's going to end up being a headshot elimination. Or a double whammy and then a uh, like, proper runaway. That is a shame. I was really hoping we'd be able to capture them. 
Okay, so we'll we'll effectively do them last. Let's close that door up. And instead, we'll look. So we've got the uh, two of the four loot. We know that one of the documents is there. What else do we have to steal? This room at the back's probably got oh, nothing, actually. Other than that document. Yeah. This is a uh -huh. real shame because I've just brought Acrobat all the way across, of course. Okay, well, for the moment, let's uh, let's get Deadpan heading downstairs to do the rest of the looting. And then it's going to have to just be a quick assassination and get out. I mean, we could do like a try and knock them out and and steal them kind of thing. Uh, right, there's that potentially, but I'm more interested in the loot. Where is the loot? There. Leave me alone. Acrobat, back you go. That door is open, so yeah, you can just go that way. Yeah, if we get one of them to shoot and the other one to do a knockout, that could work. What's cooking? It's almost certainly not going to be pretty, though. Right, we were going through this way. And you're coming in here. Here for us to see this. Step in first, just to make sure that there's no one in here. Right, in terms of evac, that is not a great place. That is not a great place either, but it's slightly better. So we'll have this one. Extraction order confirmed. I mean, this is going to be a lot messier than previous ones. I don't think we're going to manage a full stealth thing. Right, you were coming through to the back for opening this. Three out of four. I feel there should be more. It's not something in there, is it? Maybe it's outside. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be the next place. Deadpan's going to go outside. In the meantime, we can, of course, get in position for this capture. Uh, so back round this way. It's going to be a fair bit of toing and froing, but we'll try and do it quickly. We could, of course, start uh, knocking out some of the bad guys, but I don't want to do it just yet. We'll do the ones immediately near the area that we know we have to do. Uh, you're actually... coming out down this way. Alone. You're coming through this way. And this is the thing I'm really, really not going to like. The fact that we're going to have to go all that distance. Alright, step to here first. And then when we're certain that no one's watching. Heavy vest, cool. Yeah, we're going to want to go... 
in from the side for certain. Where are you going? You're going round and in. And we definitely want to do the engagement on our turn, because otherwise they will get a move and a chance to attack us before we can do anything. Where are you going, actually? And you, you're turning on the air. We might try and knock this person out. We'll see where they're going to move next turn. So you're coming around there. You're actually looking. Jeez, that is a terrible combination. All right. We'll leave them intact. Uh, this one is going to come all the way around and go to there. So if we step to here, we'll be in a place to knock them out next turn. This one's definitely a sensible one to do. Let's get so this dead over. pan up. Take down. Didn't see it. Nothing happened. As long as no one immediately comes around that corner. We'll be fine. It'll give us a chance to dispose of the body while Deadpan gets in position. Uh huh. Yeah. Early up. Just like put it in a plant or something. Are there any plants? Yeah, put it in put it in that little bed there. Uh, you can actually step to this side. And we're gonna come around all the way to here. And at this point. Is it time to die yet? It's gonna be Overwatch. Uh, now when we open this up, I am tempted to try and do like the, uh, the tactical spot. In fact, if we open if we open this door, because it will reduce their chance to dodge, which will give us more chance of being able to take them out in one turn. I'm sure this is not the way you're supposed to do it. The other thing we could do is we could breach this room with suppressed weapons. That might be fun to try, actually. Uh, let's not do it this turn. We'll open the door and then we'll be able to pick our targets. But we may be able to take this room silently by using the actual game mechanics. Hey. Okay. Requires at least two agents with firing capacity. Right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. That like a civilian? I guess they must be. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try closing the door and we'll do that again. Come on, let me, let me close the door. There we go. Ah, right, okay. That's because I pressed the wrong button. So, I click to select. So, breach deadpan. One target. Let's get this over with. And Acrobat one target. Go for it. Oh, that was a very loud weapon. <laughs> Should have probably thought about that. Okay, not to worry. That used up our fire option. but not our movement options. So we can actually start getting it straight out. Now, if we're going for the back over here, we're gonna to want to go via that doorway. So I think stepping to here is gonna be the best option for you. Let's get this over with. And you can only just get to this doorway. So get as far as you can. We'll just have to make it work. Would be much better if I'd used the suppressed weapon. I mean, they didn't know what hit them. Tactical ambush set. Right, there's Overwatch, I'm assuming, behind us or maybe downstairs. Dead pan in. does feel like a terrible plan. Support. Let's get some... Ah, oh, jeez. This is a terrible place for us to try and get smoke in. Which fool ordered smoke from the east? Okay, well, tactical spotter from the south. There's a wall in the way. Of course, there's a wall in the way. Let's have a look here. See if we can tell anything. A civilian. All right. Deadpan, you're gonna have to risk it. Leave me alone. All right, acrobat up to the window. So, Overwatch with Mac Ten back this way. That will cover the corridor and. Gotta die someday. That little bit there. Deadpan. M10 as well. Overwatch back towards this door, I think. We just have to hope no one's coming from this side. Flashbang. Don't think it actually hit any of our people. There's the Overwatch fire. They've got reinforcements arriving, yeah. so we uh, we kind of need to be gone now. And um, we can't make it all the way around. Well, at least we can get properly behind cover. Yeah. 
single shot ends the turn for you, so it's not worth us taking the shot. Acrobat, you can make it behind cover as well. That is all I care about at this stage. Important to draw your weapon again as you come around that corner. Right. Overwatch. If anyone comes this way, uh -huh. it is going to be a bad day. Now the question is... Do I want to do smoke like that? Yes, I think I do. Yeah, we can't really manage that though. We can get smoke over here, but that's not much use for us. Not worth it. Who's gonna step around this corner? Anyone going to be foolish enough? Unfortunately, it means we've mistimed the back, so we are getting more danger, which sucks. But we have put a stop to the Beholder agent by putting several bullets right in their face. All in all, not a terrible mission. It it wasn't brilliant, but uh, one minor graze. And we did get all the loot, and we got all of the intelligence documents. So there should be something worthwhile to come out of this. I just really should have used the suppressed weapons. So we got a 45. Wow, look at the damage on that. That's very nice. TKB, I do like them. Heavy vest, good. And heavy armor, good. Heavy vest is not open the... Ah, interesting. Lamster's crafting talent's been revealed and we've got plenty of intel. So wounded, compromised, compromised, yeah, all over the place. Lots of experience though. Let's see, how long is Deadpan gonna be in there? That's not too bad actually. Right, back to analytics. Acrobat can get back on that. And we want to go and see what we've dragged out of here. Place a claim and max. That is not giving us much. On to the next one. Nothing from this one, which means this is one of them. Uh, kobolds and... Golf course. Golf course is over here. Don't have cobbles at all. No. Okay, final one. Colonel Warden, Knight Warden, Seventh Wave, and and. Andromeda. So that links up there. But it is not really connecting up to much else. Alright. Still plenty of stuff for us to do then. Uh, we have this, uh, this tactical recon still on the go. So while that's ticking on, uh, we can carry on with our various upgrades, investigations, and other things. Uh, right, Lamister, let's, uh... See, I thought we'd made a silent sniper. And maybe I was, uh, mistaken, but I could have sworn we had. Don't think there's a way of no. let's let's sell 
some of these. Uh, yeah, we're not going to need more than six of those armors. Uh, Lamster can actually be given training now. So let's do that. M10 proficiency is good. TKB proficiency would be good. Killing three direct kills increases agent's awareness regen. Bargain take a little damage, but vastly improve the agent's damage threshold for the upcoming turn. What's going to be best for us to give you to go with that? Maybe fire and movement tactics. Nah, we'll, we'll give you easy kill and sure shot. Being able to make it so that things can't be dodged is going to be very, very useful, I'm sure. That'll take a little bit of time. Uh, the other thing we want to do is, in the workshop, we've got, we've got much better money now. Uh, so we want... So many of these would be useful. Maybe the comms facility. No, no, I, I think. I think we'll do the comms facility now and then we can quickly move on to the other things because it doesn't take too long. I should be looking at the amount of uh, time that these take relative to the potential return that we're going to get on them. All right, we've got our agents dotted all around the world at the moment. I am very aware that our danger is ticking up all the time while these people are being interrogated or not as the case is. Known enemy agents. So you're in a conspiracy cell. We don't know anything about these two. In fact, I want very quickly have a look in the infirmary. Cool. Stuntman is out, so we can give Stuntman some new training. I think we'll give you Covert Ops. Example made is an awesome ability. Okay, comms facility. Obtain secret documents through signal analysis. Right, comms down here. Yeah, we'll just need to assign someone to it. As everyone's already investigating or busy, uh, we'll need to just wait for the moment on that. Deadpan's nearly back though. Is that enough time for Deadpan to be back? Not quite. Very, very close. And I think actually we're... Oh, there we go. Agent Teak's been interrogated and revealed some information about Coffin. Well, that's not really much use to us. Teak can't be interrogated again, so in this case it's just going to be an execution. Relatively cheap job, but off you go Teak. Spirit on the other hand, you can be interrogated. Let's get you going there. And uh, with that, I think that's a very good point for us to finish 
uh, this episode off. Not as stealthy as previous ones, as I mentioned, and our danger has increased quite a lot. Um, but at the same time, we are in the process of getting that all sorted. And we can always move again if we need to. Uh, we've got a couple of, uh, couple of options here that uh, will cost us money, but not much else. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phantom Doctrine. See you soon.